fun it is to see the Preston win away on a Tuesday night in Huddersfield. All right, ciao. Welcome back to Match Day Report. Thankfully, we're coming back with a more positive attitude and energy this time. Uh, as, of course, as you probably know by now, PE beat Huddersfield 3 1 last night uh, in order to, uh, you know, continue on with the form recovery as we hope it's going to go. Um, Huddersfield away. Now, I love this fixture for numerous reasons. One, it was one of my first, well, proper away days. Uh, it was the first away day I witnessed a victory, and I have yet to witness a loss here. Granted, I've not done many, but that was better than no, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, um, I quite like Huddersfield away. Nice stadium, uh, always dead atmosphere. Like, I, I, I don't understand how it's that full and they make no noise, but I digress. It's always it's always good fun. The concourse is a sack of shit, though, and that needs changing. But, yeah, we won 3-1. Brilliant game. Fantastic performance. It, the stats obviously don't tell you everything. Football's not told in the stats or photos, but... Yeah, um, I thought we had a really good game. High energy for, for all the first half. The second half was a negative start, which is when we conceded, you know, going in with the old, you know, or go in and defend. But after, you know, they, after we concede and it goes 2-1, that's when we sort of pulled our finger out of our asses and went, hang on a minute, no, we can't do that because the negativities are going to get us nowhere. We need to push for another one, kill the game. And we did. Preston actually pushed to kill the game and... We pretty much did. They didn't really do all too much to us, in all honesty. The second, the second half of them was better than the first, but yeah. All things considered, we played a good game, and we played some very attractive football. So yeah, 11 shots, 3 on target, very clinical. Like I said, I don't care if we have 7 shots a game. As long as the ones that are on target matter, and it's clinical, that's when it counts. And yeah, they were, we were very clinical last night. Scoring in the first three minutes through a fantastic header. Uh, Wilkins goal through a brilliant assist from Miller. And Whiteman absolutely shitting on Maxwell once more. Well, it's not to love. We are now sat in seventh with a game against Watford at the weekend, which can hopefully push our um, chances of you know continuing good form and going back up the table. So, yeah, good stuff. Right then, let's look at the play rating, shall we? What minus six and a half. Uh, Wolves header was too powerful to... I, I'm dyslexic, sorry. Ward's header was too powerful for him, but that aside, he didn't have a great deal to do. Kept a low drive uh, from Bergzorg out early on. Uh, sorry, a six. One lapse in concentration for Ward's goal. Pretty comfortable evening. Uh, brought the ball out from the back with ease, uh, and I like to see him pairing with Potts again. What more? Seven. Solid. Absolute positive uh, for 90 minutes for him and the heart of defence. Kept his game simple and battled hard. Made a couple of strange passes, but that was during the negative spell. Uh, Lindsay, he looks like a zombie here. Jesus Christ, Sean of the Dead. Uh, Lindsay a seven managed to step out of defence and help North End Bill play down the left. Steady night's work in which he managed his game well uh, after being booked in the first half, which I didn't even notice to be honest with you. Pot seven and a half, fantastic stuff. Uh, operated higher up and was involved in plenty of North End attack and play. His use of the ball was good and he put in a shift as always. That was a very odd pause, but you know whatever gives you what. Uh, Whiteman eight and a half, easily his best game so far this season. Afforded time and space in the middle of the pitch and made full use of it. Uh, dictated a lot of the play, made a big recovery tackle on uh, Koroma, Chicken Koroma in the first half and guided home a delightful third goal. Alan Brown a nine. Fantastic performance. Uh, if not the man of the match, like him and Miller, very close for man of the match for me. Uh, Skipper was immense, headed north end uh, early doors uh, and could have scored before that as well and w won a penalty, which obviously, you know, doesn't go our way as it is. Uh, set the tone and was solid from start to finish. Miller, 8.5, had a great night, played high up uh, as left wing back, caused problems with his directness, crossing and dribbling, his assist for Keane's goal was delightful. Da-da-da, Holmes an 8, provided 2 assists on his return to the John Smiths, sharp on the ball and intense off it, got away with 1 in the first half when he lost a 50-50, as the last man back. Keane an 8, the goal should give him a big boost, Keane was busy in the attacking work and finished ruthlessly to double North End's advantage. Chetty a 7, led the goal. Uh, sorry, led the line again, occupied Huddersfield's physical centre-back, some clever moments off the ball and had huge penalty shout turned down in the first half, you know, because it was Chad, worked his socks off. Uh, Hughes a 6, slotted in at left wing back then centre-back and put in a solid performance. And keep going. McCann, a six. Added some biting energy in the middle of the pitch. Kept it tidy. Mads, a six. Felt like a good chance for him to help Preston score more. But North End knew uh, the points were with us and set off. Showed some nice touches. I mean, it, you don't need to sit off. I mean, I guess going forward you're more open. But if there's something there, I'd say go for it. Why the fuck not? That's the quality difference between teams like Liverpool and teams like us. Uh, Woodburn, a six. On the final ten minutes, added freshness. Won the ball back a couple of times and uh, ran hard. And last but not least, Robbie Brady. Slotted in down the left, stayed organised and helped see the points home. Um, yeah, simple as that. I don't think there was really a bad shift from anyone. Let's see the gaffer's reaction, shall we? Uh, and also, what I will say is on the court journey home last night, 
Um, I'm running on four hours of sleep, so if I'm reciting this wrong, then I apologise, and I've not had time to check. But there's a couple of people, people still tw uh, making stupidly negative tweets after last night's performance, saying that X Y Z player was awful, Woodman um, pretty shit, and I'm like, come on, Just have a bit of positivity for fuck's sake. I know we're not top of the league, and I know it's not as good as it was. But we're fucking getting there, and yet last night's away day is probably so far like obviously it's not it wasn't as good as Blackburn, but it's probably our second best away day, maybe next to Stoke so far this season. So we still got plenty to shout about, don't get me wrong. It was a good game last night. I'm not going to take anything away from it. All right, Ryan Law. Uh, yeah, you are always pleased when you come away with three points and score three goals. I thought the performance was different class from start to finish. Uh, I mean, you can identify the rough patch, please. The goals uh, were well worked, and I'm certainly happy the plan was to get right at the early doors, and it should be for most games. We knew we would have large parts of possession, even though it sort of finished about close to 50-50. Uh, Saturday was different. The game plan tonight was different with two eights and two strikers. And this is where I don't get, the, get why Saturday was any different against Norwich, because the game plan was to sit back and defend, you know, keep the back door shut. But what's the point of keeping the back door shut when you're not going to go forward to score any goals and take home three points? You're playing for a draw, you're playing for a point, there's no point. Yes, it will help the confidence of the players, but, you know, we need to start fighting for these points. But, I digress. Um, we made a couple of changes which we felt were needed to freshen us up. They went out and performed at the energy levels we, uh, and were fantastic. Uh, I have always had faith that the boys can do that because they've shown it. Some people may not have, and uh, some people may not, and have doubts, which is fine. But for what we are and what we're trying to do, it's obviously pleasing. We are always trying to set the dawn early on. Sometimes there are teams who stop you. Um, we had to move the ball quickly from side to side. We felt the game, well, we do that anyway. We, uh, we felt the game plan was moving them around to get us into good areas to get Liam Miller and Potsy on the ball and get bodies forward into the box. We had to get a foothold in the game again because they made changes and were then on the front foot. Uh, once we got the third, I think it took the stuffing out of them a little bit. Uh, he, he'd been enjoying that same recently, hasn't he? Especially you know, it's Christmas time. Uh, I know the group I've got, and when they work hard, do the right things every day, and execute the game plans. They're a good team. Aim. Have I skipped? Yes. I will always give it uh, the celebration, but I can't change. Sometimes I try and play it down, but you don't. But you don't know the emotion me and the lads go through when you've executed the game plan. We're doing it for those fans and the football club. The, the relief when you do get a win like that, it is massive. The boys take that credit to the fans who are always with us home and away. We'll keep doing the right things, but believe in the group because they are a good, hard-working group. We've done this before. We've had a run before, and we've talked about losing games, but that's what we are. We are not blessed with whatever. We are Preston North End, and that's how we do things. We'll try and play at the right times, turn them at the right times, but we've got to be um, hard to beat, which is what we have, which we have been in the last couple of games. Will we? Uh, we're at the start of the season. It's not about relief, it's the passion of the players, which everyone else shows, uh, to get the win on the board. So we just have to believe in ourselves and the group. These lads give the football club and the shirts everything, as they should. Um, what I will quickly check is the um, the, the reaction on PNE's website to see if it's any different, because I don't know if that was this or if it was BBC. When you stop fast, you can continue that to get two goals was pleasing. We should have had plenty early on. Penalty early on, sorry, I know that. But then to get over the disappointment and go again, to be 2-0 up at half-time is a tough scoreline, believe it or not. Uh, we knew they'd come out and have a real good go and they made changes, but we're all pleased with the performance. It's what we wanted, it's what we needed. Uh, a point away on Saturday now looks even... A point away on Saturday now looks even better than it was because we've gone and got three tonight. So obviously four out of the last two, but yeah. Uh, I'm really pleased with the group because they've had to work hard to get it. And if we keep continuing to work hard, we'll have plenty more of them. It, celebrations. Ryan says, again, I always say thank you because it's important that they rally the lads through because you won't believe how much it helps. When you cheer them on and you're there for them singing the songs, it massively helps. There's a bit of disappointment sometimes when there's the odd or whatnot. Uh, we can't have that. Um, we can't have that. We've got to make sure we stick together because we're all as one. Me, the staff and the players are all trying to do the best for them. Uh, for the fans and the football club, keep sticking with them. Uh, we'll have some tough times, we'll have some good times, but I think we'll have more good than tough. Um, I, I don't. If, when he says jeers, if it means like slight, like just stood there slating a certain player or whatever, then yes, that's not acceptable. But when we're, there's like groans and whatnot, when the ball's been given away or they're on the break, that's just the fans reacting to what they're seeing. They are concerned about what's going on on the pitch. You cannot avoid that. You will do that. So if that's what's putting the players off, then I think they need to, grow, you know, sort of grow up here because that's that's not acceptable. 
especially at that level. You can't be put off by someone saying, oh shit, he's lost the ball. Um, very quickly before we head off, I'm going to see what Brownie said. Because uh, the uh, the caption is Brownie looking to make a statement. So Brown, I think especially over the last few weeks, things haven't gone our way. We've been unfortunate in certain aspects, and in other aspects we just haven't been good enough. So the last two results are looking good for us. It's a busy period where you can really make a statement, or you can go the other way. Hopefully, uh, uh, for us, it's about making a statement. We could take a lot of confidence from the win tonight, having played some really good stuff, and we did the dirty work when needed. Uh, we'll be going into Saturday with a lot of confidence. And can I just say, them two like clinical tackles by Whiteman, oh, they were fucking good challenges, them. Um, I think we needed it, uh, said Brown, about the win. Over the last uh, few weeks, we've been really disappointed with results. I think performances have been up and down. Going to Norwich the other day, it was just about getting a result because off the back uh, off the back of a three in a row that we lost, you need, that grind, uh, you need to grind it out. You need to get something from the game, and that's what we did. Uh, coming here tonight, we wanted to take all three points, so we set out to do that, and thankfully we, uh, we came up with trumps. Uh, so, yeah, I think, the, I think their goal rocked us a bit. And that they were on top at that stage of the game, uh, Brown admitted. So that's regarding, obviously, us conceding. It didn't come from luck. They changed things and came at us with real intent and got their goal. So to get that third was a bit of a relief because having gone a few games without a win, you're just desperate to get the win. Sometimes you can make decisions that won't normally make that you won't normally make. So to get the third was important, and we knew we'd see it out from there. See, if if he's referring to getting a third goal and killing off the game as a decision you don't normally do. You should be doing that because that's how you win games of football. You don't just bang one or two in and try and see it out. No, you keep going and get you make sure the game's dead. You get the winner. You you beat it out of your opponent. That's how you win the game of football in a, in a fucking stylish fashion. Um, their goal rocking them, I can understand because one more goal and you're now level terms. It's fucking Cardiff and Southampton all over again and you know all these other games. It's that, it's that all over again. But with Whiteman having that shot you know, and, and, sc and scoring, you should be doing that anyway. At the end of the day, you don't shoot, you don't score. Simple as that. And we've been saying this since last season. I don't think we take enough chances. Like we, we can create a chance, but we don't take anything of it. We, sometimes we, we make the chance, but we don't even shoot. Let, let, let alone get a shot on target. So there are still, there's still some things that I do think need to be improved, and that's just general mentality on the pitch. If the game plan is to go out and attack and then get one or two and then sit back, we need to stop because it's such a negative approach that's not going to really get us anywhere as it's proved in our last three home games where we've conceded late and it's just completely fucked us and we've just not had anything for it. So, Fingers crossed. Uh, against Watford, hopefully, you know, like I said, we can take this and take what we've learnt from this game, go into Watford uh, you know, on the front foot and try and get ahead, go at them make them fear us and you know you, you've got to do that you've got to you know you can't have your opponent come up to you and square up to you you have to score up to them especially when they're coming to your home turf don't don't let them give you any shit but yeah um that's just my that's the way i see things anyway but yeah of course i'm not the manager um but yes uh, fantastic away day fucking brilliant i love this i love the fixture it's great tuesday night whites um getting home at one o'clock in the morning having to go to work at five in the morning not healthy. I don't recommend it. Make sure you book days off if you're doing this, but I forgot because I'm a silly sausage. But yes, uh, thanks a ton for tuning in, as always. It's much appreciated. We're now, like, halfway... I think we're halfway through the season now. We're getting close to being halfway through the season, so... You know, there's only four or five months left, which is depressing to think about. You know, it's just absolutely fucking flown by, but... Yeah, so far, so good. I've, I've, I have complaints, yes, and I will do be holding a supporters discuss, as always, when we actually do get to roughly the halfway point of the season to get supporters opinions we'll obviously have we'll more than likely have some returning faces in that video but i was i am also going to encourage new faces i'm always encouraging new faces for supporters discuss because i think i wouldn't say i have a platform let's let's be real i'm a small channel but as one of the few preston channels out there with any form of following i do believe it's important to you know give other supporters an outlet to voice their opinion because yeah sure they can do that on twitter but to actually have it in a video and then for other people to see and whatnot and to share around potentially if it, if it does well. I think that's important because there's, there's only so much a character limit can do for you. Whereas if you've got the chance to answer a couple of questions and voice your opinion that way, you can get it out better. So yeah, um, so supporters discuss is certainly well received on the channel and across Twitter in general. So uh, when I do have a plan together for the next one, I will be uh, posting on Twitter about that. So make sure you, uh, or, or X, X Twitter, whatever you want to call it, um, obviously link in the description to that. And if if I, it's not for whatever reason, the uh, the name is in the banner of the uh, the channel. So yeah, keep an eye out and I will see you all on Sunday when we do some coverage for Watford. Thanks again for watching. Come on, the boys.
think it's crossroads of the weekend. 